Hey friends, what's up? I hope you're good. Let's have a look at this comment I got on uh, YouTube and let's see if we can provide a helpful answer. Tujub is asking me this. Yes, this is a good way. Could you do a quick video of converting a non-IFC mesh uh, object into IFC element? Different ways and what to consider. Hmm. Okay, um, let me try to do that. But it's important to mention that I'm not uh, uh, good at modeling. I have, I know how the tool works, uh, but I'm not a pro-efficient pro uh, modeler. So yeah, you should keep that in mind. I started here a new session, so bonsai, we can see this is from yesterday, should be good enough. And now if you start with uh, create a project, I create the project, right? And now let's model something or no, actually let's not do even that. Let's go back. So I go back to the project wizard. Right now I'm in Blender, okay? Now we are in Blender. I did not create a project. We did not open an IFC model. So we are in Blender, okay? If I model something, if I click on uh, add and if we add the mesh and we have, if we add our uh, famous cube, this is a cube, okay? This doesn't exist in IFC. Now there are more ways uh, you can do this, but yeah, like uh, it, in order to get this to IFC, First, you have to convert it to, uh, to create an IFC project. That's one thing if you did not already open another IFC project or something like that, right? I, or IFC model. So if you don't do that, this will stay here in Blender, right? You cannot save this right now in IFC. This is a cube. Like if you want to go and save, let's see. It doesn't even show you save IFC project as because you don't have an IFC project. It did not create it, okay? So that's one thing. Uh, let's uh, let's do some duplications of this so we have it. Okay. Um, what is important? Well, first, like I said, let's create a project. Now we have a project. If we look here, we see that we have our cubes which are outside the IFC project. You see, they are outside. They are in Blender. So if we want to take them in uh, in our project, we have to. Uh, guess what, to uh, model them, right? Uh, to uh, get them, to bring them somehow. Okay, there are, how many op options are? The, the, let me start with the straightforward one, okay? If you click on this, we have something in Bonsai called object information. When you go here, usually you get to read all the information about that model, that, that object, sorry, element, whatever it is. Well, in this case, we cannot do that. You can see that immediately, we get to see object information, uh, a sign, you see? We, we cannot read anything because it doesn't have anything. So we have to create that, right? This is just something outside of IFC schema. Now, we can bring this in using this thing right here. All you have to do here is to classify this element correctly. Let's say that we want to make types or occurrence. I will explain in another video, but yeah, Occurrence, it's one object unique in the model. Type is like a definition, like a Revit family that you can reuse, instantiate in different places as many times as you want. So that's the difference mainly. Uh, so, uh, but most of the time when you are modeling things in like meshes in a Blender, I guess they are very custom and that's why like it's more, more naturally is going to be to use occurrence and not types. For types, you, you should just start by the get-go with, uh, with uh, IFC types and not model in other places. Because if you have custom things, then you have to make them custom every time. It's not something like a uh, 200 millimeters thick wall, right? That concrete wall, which you might have repeatedly in a building. So in this case, let's say that um, I, I take IFC element. So instead of taking IFC element type, we go for IFC element. And then I will search here. Let's say that this is a footing. Let's, let's take a footing, okay? But uh, yeah, pad footing, I don't know, something like that. And I assign a class. There we go. Now you see that this thing has got a new name and it has been placed on my story, which I guess it's first floor, right? But yeah, it got into IFC. If I save this file right now and I open it, we are going to see only this one right here this one the other ones will not be saved they are not in ifc look clicking here they are not in ifc right cool so saving this save ifc project let's save this let's save to downloads 
and let's call this um, IFC cube. Yeah, very creative, right? I know, I know. All right, and let's lo uh, let's reload it. Open IFC cube, and there is our cube, and all the other ones have disappeared. Now you can also add Blender object in Blender while you are in Bonsai. <laughs> I know it's confusing, but yeah, that's how you do it. What you see here is the Bonsai menu, right? So if you go here, you are going to create an, an IFC slab type and you are going to use that, right? Because that's what you do. But when you have custom objects, you have also another way to do it, right? But first, let me show you, like to, bring, to model in Blender while you are in Bonsai, you go into the normal Blender menu, which is here. You have to be here um, and then you can press Shift A as you most of you know how to do that and mesh and you add another cube and now you get it it's here and you look at it and this is not classified right let's say that this is an element and let's uh, make it a wall IFC wall movable yeah well it's a parapet wall <laughs> let's say yeah so now this is a wall this is a footing if we save it file save we get this we are going to get this again because this is part of my story. It's in my project. Okay, this is not so, not outside of it anymore. Uh, all right, and I think you remember like how there were more of them here under in Blender. I think when it was assigned to IFC, it was created a duplicate uh, geometry and it was mo moved behind uh, inside the project. And when we saved in IFC. The one here outside, like the other ones that disappeared, they disappeared too. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I hope so. Uh, okay, so this is how, <laughs> I know it's confusing because is this like bonsai is inside Blender and you have to know when you do what and how, right? But that's mainly how, what you have to uh, pay attention to. Like if you click on something and you don't see any information and you see like a sign IFC class, means that it, it's not an IFC, right? It's so simple actually. Um, but there is also another way, again, like instead of actually modeling in Blender first and then bringing it here, bring it here, you can also doing it now. I, I guess now I'm not sure because again, I'm not proficient at modeling. This is not my, uh, my thing. I'm not sure, you know, we have this thing called, let's see, if I go here, if, if I press on Shift A, we have IFC element, you see, if I click on this, I can choose to model, I can choose an IFC element and let's call it, I don't know, whatever. Let's call it a building proxy. And uh, yeah, uh, it's an element and you want to choose here maybe custom tessellation, right? And if you go and do that, uh, one, one, nothing, we don't have to. Yeah, I don't even know where that went and how do I find that? Let's see, where is it? It's here. I don't know how do I add uh, geometry here, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. I know there is a possibility. What another thing that you can do actually, let's see. So if we add another mesh, another cube, and we move it here. So another thing that you can do here is to press on Shift A, IFC element, And you can choose now, while you have selected this, you see, you have to press here, add. You can choose now tessellation from object and it will convert this model, this object into IFC, okay? You can also, so you have also this way of doing things. You also, I know for sure that you also can do the other way that I showed you, like when I created that in, invisible thing, which is, oh, it's there, it's not invisible. Ah, look, I'm not so noob, guys. <laughs> it's here. Okay, so we get this, okay? And of, of course, from here, you do the modeling exactly, not exactly like in Blender. That's the thing. So I'm not sure. So if, if I press once, you go in this mode where you can, um, you can uh, modify the faces and so on. But you can also, like, if you press one more time, you get to the Blender mode. That's interesting, yeah, because it's a mesh, right? So when you are in this mode, you can model exactly like in Blender, I would assume. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I suppose, right? So let's see. What, what, 
can happen, right? So I, if I take that and I can drag it, yeah, like that's what's happened. And if I press one more time on tab and tab again, we see that actually this, it's indeed an IFC object and it has this shape. Yeah. So we have also this, like what is best? I don't know. Depends. If you already have these meshes in uh, Blender, then maybe it's easier to start just with them and, um, and start from there. Otherwise, if you don't have them, maybe start with getting used by adding, by adding this, by using this function right here. Add IFC element and choose uh, whatever you want. Uh, of course, like don't use building element proxy without defining what this is, okay? Because you want to define it. Uh, you want to give it a name, you want proper name and description. Like don't do like me. Like I just showed you the concept, the principle, okay? Um, it's important. So um, this is, this is um, how you can do this. I would recommend like to use this if you start from scratch. Uh, and I would recommend to use types always where you can use types, okay? Like things like this. I don't know if, if they are repeating, uh, like yes, of course. You, if, you, if you have an object more than twice, then most, even if you use mesh, you, you should uh, create types. Uh, but uh, if, uh, especially for those that are repeating a lot, like, uh, like I said, the wall, slab, this kind of thing, columns and so on, you definitely have to have them and also profiles. Uh, but um, yeah, that's like the, the main idea here is that there are more options to do that. And it's very important to understand the difference between the bonsai and blender interface. It, this overlap is very tricky, okay? In the beginning, you get used to it, but you have to make it very clear to understand, right? If you click on something and you cannot read any information and you get prompt to assign a class for that object or element, then that means that that doesn't belong in, in IFC. And if you save that as an IFC model without assigning it, you are not going to get it. If you want to save that, you have to save it as a blend file and then you can have it as a backup or whatever. And you can do it another time, the conversion. Yeah. I hope this was uh, helpful, at least to some degree. And uh, I hope this clarified some of the issues, some of the things and uh, that you, you should have in mind when you are using bonsai. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, let them in the comments below. And uh, if you're um, thinking to uh, level up your uh, IFC game, we have that thing uh, called Bonsai Bootcamp where you can also find more, more in the description below. If you're interested to save time on your projects um, and to advance your career and to become the go-to OpenBeam expert in your company, that might be the thing for you. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and until then, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.